Greetings, and welcome to the basement. In this video, I'm going to go over a very brief history of the incremental or idle game. If you have no interest in this, just know that the target for this tutorial series is going to be to roughly copy Cookie Clicker. Still with me? Okay, let's get going. UI is a really important part of a game's enjoyment. It does not matter how awesome your core mechanic is or how fun in general your game is to play. If it's got a really terrible UI to go with it, that's going to really cripple people's enjoyment of the game. In my opinion, one of the best ways to learn the UI system for a game engine is to write an incremental or an idle game in that game engine. Mainly because these types of games tend to be almost entirely UI driven. There's really not much else to them. So it makes for a great fun little exercise. Now, before we get out into the weeds on how to create an incremental or an idle game, I want to talk a little bit about my definitions of these games and go over a brief history of it with a couple of examples. Now, an incremental or an idle game, these terms are sometimes used interchangeably. There is a slight subtle difference, although most of these games do incorporate both of these elements, both the incremental and the idle part. Uh, the incremental part of the game, of course, means that you are incrementally making improvements. Uh, so buying upgrades to give you more power, to, so that way you can earn things faster, to buy more upgrades to earn things faster, so on and so forth. You are incrementally getting your numbers bigger and bigger. The idle portion of it means that the game will largely play itself to a certain extent. Usually you have to be the one purchasing the upgrades, um, but beyond that the game is capable of running on its own. As far as the history of these things go, I want to start off with a little-known gem called Progress Quest. Now, by my definitions, this is not a game, and I really can't see anybody's definition allowing this thing to be a game. Uh, for me, there's no meaningful choice here at all. There's actually nothing I can do after I've generated my character. Uh, so yeah, this, this is not a game. It's more of a satire. It was created back in the heyday of the EverQuest and Dark Age of Camelot days, and it's basically a satire on the MMORPG. But uh, consider it sort of a, a proto-incremental game, so to speak, in that, or a proto-idle game, I should say, and that, you know, it's got the general idea of once we start this thing up, we just leave it running and it plays itself. So you can see here, I am uh, executing an undernourished camel, poor camel, and as I do this, my uh, inventory fills up, and apparently my inventory just filled up, so now I'm going back to sell all of my absolutely useless, useless junk, um, I may or may not automatically buy some new equipment, and then I'll be back out into the world, and as this occurs, I'm completing quests, Once my, as my quests complete, I complete the act, and so on and so forth. And it just goes. There's nothing else to this. Now, as far as I am aware, the first incremental game to really succeed, so to speak, is Cookie Clicker. Now, there could very well be incremental and idle games prior to Cookie Clicker. But as far as I am aware, this is the oldest, successful, most well-known uh, clicker game in that it's pretty much what it says. I have a cookie. I click the cookie to get cookies and promptly proceed to uh, destroy my mouse. And I, I do mean that literally. My mouse button's going out on me, so that's why I will occasionally double-click and give myself carpal tunnel syndrome because that's fun. And, of course, you can see some of the idle elements going here as well. I am currently earning 11.2 cookies per second. And here's the incremental portion. I have a variety of upgrades. So I can upgrade my clicker, Carpal Tunnel Prevention Cream. Because, yeah, the game is a bit self-aware on that. And so now instead of getting two cookies, I'm now getting four cookies per click. 
Uh, I can make my grandma's twice as, as efficient. So now I'm getting 14.4 instead of 12.4. I can buy a cookie mine because that makes total sense. And now I'm getting even more cookies per second. I can buy some more farms and buy some more grandmas. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Buy some cursors for some auto clicking. Come over here, click some more. And this is a, something that happens quite a bit with incremental games. I am getting 100 cookies per second. And I am getting four cookies per click. Which means even if I manage to click 20 times per second, which I'm fairly certain that I can't do, I would only be getting 80 cookies per second, but my per second raise hundreds. There's almost no point for me to click now is what I'm getting at. It's more of, yeah, I'm just going to occasionally log back in here and upgrade my various things and be done with it. So, yeah, now I'm up to 119 cookies per second. So this was the earliest one, at least that I am aware of. And this led to a couple of other extremely well-known incremental slash idle games. We have Clicker Heroes. Just had running in the background here for a bit. Uh, and again, same general principle. I can click on the critters to damage them. Go ahead, let's go ahead and upgrade to the next level here. And I can upgrade my hero here, and I can upgrade his damage. So now I do 51 click damage. Or I can uh, buy additional... Um, helpers here to increase my auto click damage. So now I have, you know, almost 600 auto click damage. You can see it's, you know, I can almost can't click as fast as, you know, I can kill things here. Uh, now, this one added something interesting. Every so often, it'll throw bosses at you where as you get further and further along, uh, you it becomes actually useful to try to kill the boss via clicks because your auto kill rate might not be fast enough to actually deal with the boss. I've got, you know, click storm where I can activate it to uh, just auto click things into oblivion. So, yeah, now I've got these, you know, power. So this, you know, clicker heroes is adding powers into the mix. And then finally, you know, a game that most people will recognize, Adventure Capitalist. And I bring this one up because instead of rapidly clicking on things, um, Adventure Capitalist works on the idea of you have to click on the individual items to uh, be able to activate them or buy them. Now, I've already on this game, uh, because, you know, through Steam and such, I already have all of my managers set up for these things. So uh, you can see here in uh, another two minutes, which I'm not going to waste time to let that take over. This will activate. And if I didn't have the managers, I would have to click on these, and then these timer bars would fill up, and then I get the appropriate amount of money. And at this point, my lemons uh, stands generate so fast that they're fractions of a second per, uh, per cell, and so it just shows zeros with a solid bar. This is going to show that there, there are a lot of options. And at, with all of these, they are very menu-driven. All of this is just clicking on menus and changing through and choosing what it is that I want to purchase in terms of upgrades. Same thing with Clicker Heroes. It's all menu-driven. I've got a scroll bar here. I choose which things I want to upgrade. And I can also choose to buy power, so I'd have to get up to level 50 for this, which I don't think I can. Nope, don't have enough money for that. And again, same thing for Cookie Clicker. I've got all these various menus that I can go through to choose my upgrades and make things more efficient. So very, very menu-driven and fairly simple. I mean, at its core, an incremental slash idle game is you have a single action, you usually click the thing, you click the thing to get points, you use those points to improve your ability to click the thing to get points, so that way you can get more points. Basically, it's about how fast can you make the number go up, which our brains really, really like. 
And so what we're going to do to learn the Unity's UI system is we are going to roughly recreate Cookie Clicker here in that we'll have a target action area on the left. We'll have just sort of a visual representation of what's going on with our upgrades in the middle. And we will have a selection of upgrades off to the right. We won't literally be recreating Cookie Clicker, but this general layout of the thing we're clicking, our number, visual representation of our upgrades, and the actual upgrade options themselves. And so with that, I'll see you in the next video.